What's that? Get your tanned legs compared to your white like trainers. trainers. Yeah, but look at my tanned legs. Oh, yeah. You filming me? Yeah. Hello and welcome to our Centre Parks vlog 2023. You look very smart today. <laughs> this is the journey down to the tree houses. It's very fast. <laughs> So you're trying something new, are you? What's this? Yeah, salted, salted caramel cream cold brew. No, it's a salted cream cold brew. Bruh. Ooh, that looks amazing. It's, what's that? Cheese? Yes, cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. Mmm. You're gonna stir, you're stirring it? Let's stir it. Oh, it's very quickly. Let me know what you think. I've got a campuccino. It's uh, a little bit overcast today, but it's still warm. It's still pleasant. I'm in a short, short sleeve shirt, and you're in a little jumpery thing. I wouldn't say I'm cold at all, would you? No, no. Let us know the verdict on that, anyway. Okay, and that's just good. Like just coffee, yeah. Some unlike something like that to be a bit of disappointment, isn't it? Mm. So here I am, shiny because I've got um, sun cream on. And what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to have lunch in a minute. We're just having a nice relaxing break while they build, while they rebuild Starbucks. Um, nice and relaxing. Did I? Not the Did I? You sure? I oh, I've got you in it as well. I think. Um, then it was pouring down with rain this, this morning actually for the first time in the last two weeks um, but thankfully we had a nice cooked breakfast which passed the time and this afternoon we're going to go roller skating and i suppose before roller skating we'll go for another cycle ride tonight we're going to go to rajinda pradesh and have an indian meal a succulent indian meal um, and then, I don't know, tonight, oh yeah, tonight we're going to go swimming, went swimming yesterday as well, all the, can't show you this obviously because you're not allowed to film in the changing rooms, but the changing rooms have all been refurbished. There's a lot of refurbishment going on, um, a bit disruptive, but it doesn't really bother me that much really because it's not where our lodge is. Anyway, I'll try and film as much of this as possible. And, oh yeah, you haven't seen me for a while, have you, because I haven't updated, uploaded any videos. Well, here you go.
Yeah. Yeah, you don't count all the ones you're going to get it in. Ready? Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're at what lot are we? One six eight. Please get it outside the lodge so it doesn't ship everywhere. Just documents in the evidence. This is completely cooked. This is mine. It actually oh, looks really good on the camera, doesn't it? You, you looking forward to this? Yes. Good. Mmm. <gasps> delicious. Is it? Mmm. It is actually. It smells good actually. Mmm. Mm. You can't taste it, it's burnt. No? Oh, worth a try. What else are we going to do? I haven't got any cheese, have I? I think there's a whole family in there. Do you? Keep hearing little feet. What do rats like? I think 
We're going round the round bit. Where is it? Can you see it? No, not now. Oh. Where is it? Let's go onto the bridge. So it's the last night of our stay at Centre Parks. We're going on our sort of final cycle ride back to the lodge. A little bit of packing watch some TV, eat a chocolate mousse, and then get up bright and early and leave the lodge. Good morning. The stay's been really good, as usual, really. Uh, last year, I felt a bit down about it, like I wanted to try somewhere else. And as you know, we didn't try somewhere else. We just came back to Centre Parks. And I didn't think so negatively about it, really. It's kind of just felt routine, but... We have promised ourselves that we will try and do something a little bit more adventurous than Thetford, 30 miles down the road. Um, in terms of like food that we've eaten, it's been okay. It's been quite expensive. The average meal for the two of us has come to about 55 quid. Uh, you generally have to pay a 10 or 15 pound deposit if you book a restaurant in advance, which gets taken off your bill at the end. They now add a service charge automatically of only seven and a half percent but uh yeah they are they add the service charge to your bill and then also ask if you want to give a tip and yet the service charge is already distributed among the staff so a bit weird for us because we always just used to add a 10 percent tip now we just add the service charge and it doesn't give you i'm not going to get leave a 17 and a half percent service charge or whatever it is or 12 and a half percent tip so you know we just leave the seven and a half percent which isn't great but actually a new feature of a lot of the restaurants here is that you order via the app so really the only person that you're interacting with is the person who cooks the food and then ultimately the person who brings it to the table so it kind of bypasses a bit of the staff which is good if you don't want to speak to people i suppose um yeah we went to las iguanas last night which is a new restaurant here that was okay i would say um just middle of the road i don't really like mexican food so i don't know why we went there really the park itself is looking a little bit run down in places we as you'll have seen there are some rats in some places which is a little bit <laughs> disconcerting um all, also uh, m other main thing before i give you the tour we went swimming we haven't recorded that because 
Um, well, when we used to record our swimming, loads of people had GoPros and things, not one GoPro. I don't think you're allowed cameras, really, um, as you kind of go around the swimming pool, which kind of makes sense. Um, but my word, the swimming pool wasn't half cold. They turned the temperature down in the outdoor one, and I screamed and ran out of it when I got in because it was so cold uh, the, the second night. Well, um, we went in last night and it was a lot warmer. So they seemed to turn it up on the last night, turn up the speed of things like the rapids on the last night, which made it a bit more enjoyable. But why couldn't they do that in the first few nights? Is it because of cost cutting? I don't know. Anyway, here's a tour of the lodge. So we've stayed in a three bedroom lodge that costs about £667. Um, there's only two of us. Uh, we like the extra space. And this was only like about £10 more than a two bedroom lodge. So it was kind of cost effective just to try it out really. You get the usual thing, you get the lounge and the television, which has got HDMI on it if you want to bring your own HDMI cable. Um, I think this is pretty well the same size, I think, as the two bedroom lodge, might be a fraction bigger. Um, when you come into the lodge, you get this sort of entrance hallway with a little toilet and a utility room that's got its uh, boiler in it. It's a combi boiler, so the, the lodge has a supply of hot water and, um, well, hot water. Up here we have an isolator switch, which is always turned off when we go into these places. So when we open the bathroom doors and turn on the lights, none of the extractor fans come on. So we have to turn all of those on, just a word of warning for you. This is the kitchen area. You get, I suppose this is a larger six seater dining table. Uh, this is the kitchen, which we think actually might be a fraction smaller than the kitchen from the uh, two bedroom lodge. Incidentally, we couldn't find all the crockery when we started. Well, when I entered the room after a bit, I thought, oh, what's that green thing there? Well, this is actually a cupboard that contains all of the crockery. And unlike my lovely cupboard doors at home, they're not slow closed. Anyway, that's pretty well. Oh yeah, what do you get in the kitchen? You know, we still get this Tassimo coffee machine. You get a microwave, a toaster, a gas oven, and a dishwasher, which I'm using at the moment. Always say it, we always dishwash all our stuff before we use it because um, it's pretty grimy. That's what we found. I think on the last day, people just shove it in the cupboard and hope for the best. This is um, a bedroom that out the front of the lodge. Obviously these lodges come in two styles, kind of left mirrored one aspect and then a mirror aspect of it. So um, I've actually stayed in a, a lodge like this probably about 20 years ago with a friend, but the mirror image of it. And toilet in there, but Ellie's having a shower at the moment. This is a, another room here. Um, we didn't use any of these. We use the towels and things and we put some of the annoying kitchen things on the beds. And here is the master bedroom. So, you know, they're pretty standard. You get a television in the master bedroom and you get a nice view out onto the patio. Now, I would say we had a lot of wildlife in this lodge, which is great. But unlike our two bedroom lodge that we had previously, we we're a little bit overlooked by that one because that is actually somebody else's lodge there. And when we were having our barbecue, we could see the people in the lodge on the right hand side. So I suppose it's an advert for really choosing an end lodge. We were sort of stuck. If we wanted to have this three bedroom one, we had to have this one in the middle because it was the only one that was left. Very happy with this lodge. Um, I don't know if I would pay the extra again, like the 10 pounds extra, got up tight, um, to come to a three bedroom lodge. It was worth trying just to experience something a little bit new. Anyway, dishwasher's finished. Got to go and pick up the car hope that it's somewhere to park, and then we're going to go to uh, Pancake House for breakfast. Mommy, Mommy. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video, and I shall see you next time whenever that may be, for another video.